tell you, I've been really enjoying our series uh, on <laughs> the job. Me too. I think it's just having a lot of fun. And in fact, this morning, it is your turn. You're going to take a little bit of a creative approach. So you guys know how I love a good poem, mm -hmm. right? So I recently tried my hand at becoming a typewriter poet and had the chance to channel my inner Shakespeare for strangers right in the middle of New York City. I don't know how to do a poem that doesn't rhyme. Like, what else is there? Over the years, I've been known to share a rhyme or two. It's heartwarming to see. If there was a Dad of the Year award, they would tie. At least according to me. I still don't like beer. Oh, no, no, my dear. That's the only thing I can think of to rhyme. But I thought I'd take my poetry to the public and headed to nearby Little Island to go on the job with poets Zoe Branch and Jay Sean Lee from creative agency Ars Poetica. Would you like a poem? The two are typewriter poets creating custom poems for strangers in minutes. What kind of poems do they ask for? Can you write me a love poem? My grandfather who passed a few years ago. Can you write a poem about that? You really want to hold a person's story and make sure they feel heard. So can you do a poem for me? One, because I selfishly want one, and two, because I want to learn. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So let me know what you could use a poem about today. How about juggling? Juggling career, trying to run a marathon, and three kids, but also embracing it yeah. and realizing that these are all things that I'm lucky to have. Okay, give me a moment. In just a few minutes. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so sweet. I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh, hands, may you hold all this heavy, wide truths, these gifts that are round, that are flying through the air. Now they go, all these precious things, with my feet planted firm on this earth. Girl, it sounds like scripture. Oh. <laughs> it seems like you're a therapist for some people yeah, at times. There just aren't that many platforms for random strangers to connect with each other vulnerably. It was time to get my creative juices flowing. I'm going to write a poem about you. Maybe a poem that just talks about all the great people in our lives that just pop up randomly. OK. <laughs> Oops. The typewriter took a little getting used to. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Whatever. Oh, shoot. Finally, there are a lot of typos. It looks like a three-year-old like wrote you a love letter. Noise. Beautiful noise. I learned it's not noise. It's music. Sweet music. Now I bring music to the people I meet in the park, a wedding, or with friends. Cheers to loving living my purpose, making beautiful music. Love Chanel. Thank you so much. You like it? I love it. You know what? If this TV thing doesn't work out for me, can I just... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to stick me in the middle of a park in New York City? Shall we do it? I love this job. Like, what? I feel a lot of pressure. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What's your name? Lucy. Okay, so tell me, like, why you're here in New York. We're just here on a family holiday. <laughs> okay, Lucy. I'm ready. On. Where's the dash? Oh, pardon my horrible typing. Almost done. Okay. Woo, are you ready for your poem? <laughs> I just have to fix one thing. From North England at NYC, a trip I will forever cherish. Hello, world. Here we come. <laughs> Welcome to New York. <laughs> I talk to more tourists. Hmm, how do I want to start? We return to Germany with memories we will forever cherish. Oh, I, I like it. What would you like me to write a poem about? I, I was know. starting to get the hang of it, I think. I've been here in New York and wandering and just kind of feeling like an open vessel for, for inspiration. No, you can't pee. <laughs> wandering but never lost. Let her be inspired by the sights and sounds. She wanders, but she's never lost. Love Chanel. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I love it. Oh, yeah. That morning, I typed up a poem to mark the end of our time. And no, this one did not rhyme. Every day is a new adventure, new ways to connect with each other and reconnect with nature. When we are open, the universe reveals new gifts. At the heart of it all is love. The end. It was so 
Oh, she's fun. awesome. Fantastic. So the poets at Ars Poetica write custom poetry at weddings and different events. I was like, do you do events? I would love for you to come. Yes. And sometimes you'll find them in the park in New York City, and people pay for their poems in whatever amount they choose. Oh. They also told me that if I make a mistake, just to keep going, maybe make up a new word. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. I wasn't kidding when I said a lot of, I had typos, but I would just... You know, try to turn it into another word. I love you. Go dash. <laughs> yeah, dash. look at this. There's one of my can't see because any glasses. No, but that's really this terrific. One I mean, it was really. It was also therapeutic because. It's like we were just talking about these days with autocorrect, you almost type and you don't really mm -hmm. think about it on a keyboard and it just fixes it. But with this, you really have to kind of slow down. And you have something to hold on to. Yes. Physically hold on yes. to. Yes. That was yes. wonderful. I hope it comes back. Now I want a typewriter. Yeah. You look like you loved doing that. I loved it. It yeah. was it was almost like performance. In, in a sense, it it was. Know? It's funny. Our, our our senior producer Cecilia was like, "Chanel, your job is going to be a poet." And I'm like, "What?" And now I'm so happy I did Instead it. Instead of slam poetry, it's type poetry. It's type poetry. Like noise. So there you go. Noise. Ah, it's beautiful music. noise. It's not noise. It's music. Uh, guys, Who just ahead. She's a poet. And she doesn't <laughs> know it. Thank you. Oh. Boom. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.